Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see another part B question with detailed explanation. Let's get started. Before diving into the text, I would suggest reading the question first. Question is, the guidelines inform us that codeine can cause side effects in patients. Now, skim the text to get a general understanding of the topic, the main idea, and the structure of the text. This will help you focus on the relevant information and make it easier for you to locate the answers quickly. Take 30 seconds to look at the text. Here, the main idea of the text is about the relationship between codeine, CYP2D6 enzyme, and the ability to metabolize codeine to morphine, which can vary considerably between individuals. The text also highlights the potential risks associated with ultra-rapid metabolizers and poor metabolizers of codeine, and the need for alternative pain management strategies in the latter case. Another important thing to do is, identify keywords in the questions and underline or highlight them. Look for synonyms, antonyms, and related words in the text that can help you locate the information you need. Pay attention to specific details such as numbers, dates, and names, as they can be crucial to answering the questions correctly. Also, be aware of distractors and avoid falling into the trap of choosing incorrect answers that are mentioned in the text but are not directly related to the question. Here, I would say distractors are phrases such as vary considerably between individuals or life-threatening or fatal respiratory depression which might lead one to focus on individual variation or side effects rather than the specific genetic makeup that the question is asking about. Let can you guess the answer? The correct option is C, who have a particular genetic makeup. Let's look at why it is correct and why other options are wrong. In option C, codeine can cause side effects in individuals who have a particular genetic makeup, specifically ultra rapid metabolizers who can metabolize codeine to morphine more rapidly and completely leading to higher morphine levels and an increased risk of overdose. On the other hand, poor metabolizers may have reduced morphine levels and may not get adequate pain relief from codeine. Therefore, genetic testing for CYP2D6 may be necessary before prescribing codeine to identify individuals who may be at increased risk of side effects. Alternative pain management strategies should be considered in these individuals. In option A, codeine can cause side effects in patients with opioid addiction, but this is not specific to opioid addiction and can occur in any patient taking codeine. In option B, taking codeine together with morphine is not recommended as they are both opioids and can increase the risk of respiratory depression, but this is not the only scenario where codeine can cause side effects. I hope this video is useful to you. Please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. We will upload detailed sample questions regularly. Thank you for watching.